Hi everyone! Have you heard the saying, just what the doctor ordered? I'm sure most of you have. What does that mean to you? To me, it means I'm doing things that are good for me, and what's good for me might not be good for you. I love to swim. Swimming is my favorite activity to partake in, especially during the summer. I know swimming is good for me because it increases my mood, it makes me happy, and it's good exercise. But, even though I like to swim, some people might hate it. It can give someone anxiety because they're afraid of water. Maybe someone doesn't know how to swim. If someone doesn't know how to swim, or doesn't like to swim, or is afraid of water, then swimming isn't good for that person. Just like swimming, prescription drugs can be good for one person and bad for another. If you get your wisdom teeth out and you're prescribed a pain medicine, it's important for you to take it to help you heal. However, if someone else took them, it would be prescription drug abuse. Prescription drug abuse can cause low blood pressure, overdose, memory problems, high blood pressure, and hallucinations. Prescription drug abuse can also lead to addiction to the drug. Addiction is a lifelong disease. <clears throat> According to drugabuse.gov, the three most prescribed medications that get abused are opioids, which treat pain, the central nervous system depressants, which are used to treat anxiety and sleep disorders, and the last type are stimulus, which are used to treat ADHD. Like we stated earlier, the saying, just what the doctor ordered, means that a person is doing something that is just right for them. It might be a long-awaited vacation, taking a healthy risk like getting a new haircut, or eating their favorite meal. The saying was derived from the idea that a doctor's advice will make someone feel better. To prescribe means to lay down in writing a role or course of action to be taken. If this prescribed course of action is not followed, it can quickly become not what the doctor ordered or an unhealthy risk. I'm going to say six statements, and I want you to decide if it's a healthy risk or an unhealthy risk. The tower grounded all flights until the storm passed the field. The pilot took the plane up anyway. Is it healthy or unhealthy? Jake ignored the sign that said, Danger, keep out, and went in the building with his dog. Is that unhealthy or healthy? Tanya had never eaten antichokes before, so she tried one. Is that a healthy or an unhealthy risk? Matt got up and played guitar in his friend's band without any rehearsal. Healthy or unhealthy? The broken glass did not stop Sharice from walking in the street barefoot. Is that a healthy or an unhealthy? And the last one, Dan went hiking with his kids even though he might be sore the next day. Is that a healthy or an unhealthy? Just as in everyday life, we need to know the risks of taking prescription or over-the-counter drugs if it is not just what the doctor ordered. The side effects can be harmful, addictive, or deadly. Study the label of a bottle of aspirin or ibuprofen or cough medicine that you have around the house. Discuss what it'll do to help a person's condition, and then maybe think about the warnings. And if you're on TikTok, go to our page at the PrevNet to follow and see more helpful information. Have a great day!